The violin, one of the most famous stringed instruments, was first introduced in the first half of the 16th century. Violin only had three th strings at first, but the four stringed violins was later discovered in 1555 by Andrea Amati, who was known for making the first musical instrument of the modern violin family. In 1560, Andrea Amati got an order from Charles IX, the French king, to construct 24 modern violins. Out of those 24 instruments, one instrument still survives today and is considered as the oldest surviving violin. The sound of the violin is produced by dragging the bow across one or more violin strings. Since the bow, if you drag the bow across one or more violin strings, the sound is produced. Before using the bow, rosin. This rosin is brought into the bow in order to cause friction, which makes the string vibrate more. The vibration is sent through the string. It's sent through the bridge and to the top plate. The vibration of the string eventually leads to the sound post, which is inside the violin body. Sound post plays a major part in transmitting the vibrations evenly in all directions. With the assistance of the bass bar, the sound will come out through the F hole, there's two F holes, and it's produced enough to be heard. When amplifying the sound, the strings themselves cannot move the air and make a sound. The vibrations on the strings need to occur in order to produce a sound. The vibrations go through the violin body, passing the bridge. The violent body causes the sound waves to stay inside the body, which makes the sound to last longer. The body functions as closed end column, reflecting the sound waves out through the F holes. The violent body's wide surface area pushes a reasonable amount of air back and forth, creating the standing waves with increased amplitude. The body uses the concept of resonance in order to increase the amplitude of the standing waves. The sound is amplified as a result. After the sound waves are gathered inside the body and released together, pitch can be changed by increasing or decreasing the tension of the string. By adjusting the pegs of the violin, the tension of the string can decrease or increase. Since it is very hard to play different notes by just adjusting the pegs, the different notes are played by putting the fingers on the fingerboard. Putting fingers on the fingerboard will shorten the length of the string that vibrates, which increases the tension. The increased tension will make the pitch higher, while decreased tension will lower the pitch. As you can see, when I put my fingers on the fingerboard, the pitch increases. So higher the tension, higher the pitch. The family of violin gives a very wide range of notes compared to the other families of woodwind and brass instruments. For example, between the notes B and D, there are many notes that exist between those two notes, like this. This tells us that the violin has a very wide range of notes compared to other families, such as woodwind instrument and brass. Another unique feature the violins have is that the violins can create the same note in two strings at once. For example, you can play the open string of D and second or fourth finger on the G string, which is also D. And 
compare. Comparing with one string and two string. Playing with two string at once is definitely louder. This is another unique feature the violins have. The violin is a very unique instrument. Every single part of the violin, such as sound post, bridge, and body, plays an important role in producing and amplifying the beautiful sound. Violin can change the pitch by putting the fingers on the board, which gives an opportunity to the players to play many different notes freely. When the violin players want to emphasize one note to the audience, they will play the two strings with the same note at once, which gives a louder sound as a result. The violins have these unique features of creating the sound which helps the players to express their mind. The quality of the sound produced can even change depending on the player's characteristics and playing style, which again tells that this instrument is very unique.